Can you think of a conversation in your life, either business or family, that you've avoided because the thought of it just makes your heart race and makes you start sweating? If that's the case, then listen up because this video is for you. There are farm customers that have told me, I don't like conflict. I don't like, I'm not a good communicator. I, uh, I don't know how to do this. When you think about communicating with family in particular, in emotional conversations, emotional uh, topics, uh, there's a lot of research that says that when you get into a stressful or anxiety response in which your instincts are to fight, flight, or freeze, one of the problems is, is that uh, basically your brain abandons ship. When you're in fight, flight, or freeze, your frontal lobe says, see ya. And there's a lot of research that says that. So what that means is, is that you lose the ability to speak. You lose the ability to think. You lose the ability to listen. And you are in no state to have a productive conversation. When you are in that state, my first ask and best practice I would recommend is to acknowledge it and say, whew, I'm not in good shape right now to be able to deal with this when you're in this stressful conversation. Though that state, the sensation is going to be your heart rate's going up, you're kind of stressed, pressure in your chest, uh, maybe you start to sweat. Whenever you feel that sensation, I want to encourage you to do a timeout. Stop. Say, no, this is not uh, the right time to be talking about this. This is a super important topic, but I am just not in the right state of mind. So walk away, ask for time to calm down, and then circle back. Number two. I want you to think about preparing. So a quote that I really, really like by Harvey Robbins is place a higher priority on what a win looks like for the other person. When you're thinking about preparing for a conversation, whether it's to resolve a piece of friction, to enter into some negotiations, or just to address something that you think is important, if you actually put yourself in the other person's shoes, that can be really powerful to make sure that it, uh, you actually reflect on not just your interests, but what they're looking for as well. When you are trying to think about preparing for this stressful conversation, you really, really know that you need to have it. You want to circle back. You want to not just avoid it, but you know your brain's probably going to abandon ship because it's going to be a stressful point. I highly recommend writing a script. And this is something I've recommended to many farm families. Think about the right words to say the message that you need to say and literally write it out. And then you can rewrite it and you can think about how it might sound. This can be a really um, <clears throat> important piece of equipment to allow you to get the message across. And the phrasing I would use is, you know what? This message is so important for me to get right. I actually wrote it down so I don't mess it up. So then take that script and find a trusted peer or family member that's not connected with this particular conversation. Practice the conversation. Think about using that script in order to uh, test it out, see how it lands. Get that friend or other person, that trusted partner, to poke holes in the idea and say, wow, you know, when you say it this way, it doesn't sound great. By having these conversations when a particular issue or annoyance or friction is a small thing, you can deal with it really early and pick a good path together as a family business. But if you let these things slide and avoid these conversations, they become big things and feel pretty insurmountable. Another consideration when thinking about conversations that cause anxiety is time and place. When is the right time to have this conversation? I just think that we can all do well to pause and decide, is this really the right time or do I need to wait to make sure that uh, the message lands well and doesn't have a negative impact? These best practices about recognizing the anxiety state and then how to overcome it are things that you can do. You can learn how to do this. 
it might be a bit scary. You might be avoiding it. Maybe you've avoided difficult conversations your whole life, but this is something you can shift and it will absolutely benefit your farm transition, but actually could benefit all of your business and family relationships. So I can't encourage you enough to uh, start today and dig into it because I think we can all do better to become better communicators. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and please pay attention that there's various topics in this series that you can watch in any order according to what your needs are at that time. So go back and have a look and see what else might apply to your situation so we can continue to share some best practices.